Hey guys, I am Katie or Kiwi Does Art and today we're going to make um, a toilet. I've never made this before but I've been trying to make some like more complicated objects with like more pieces um, so we'll see how this goes. I'm thinking that I want to uh, just start out with a cylinder so you can go ahead and grab one of those and then I want to put some more divisions in it um, just for the height so maybe put like four uh, let's double it let's do eight. All right so from my understanding of a toilet it starts relatively um, round at the bottom and then when it builds up um, it goes into a smaller type of cone shape almost as I would call it. So with that in mind go into vertex mode I'm gonna go ahead and select some of these vertices and then just make them um, a bit smaller and you can just do that by holding control and scaling on that top axis like that. So I'm now just gonna do that with each of these guys. You wanna just scale them in very small all the way until you get to the top. There we go. Next row. And then this row. Last two rows. All right, that looks pretty good for me. Um, if you want to, you can go ahead and like try and make them a bit more smooth. Honestly, it's up to you. I'm gonna go for that because I'm pretty happy with how that looks. So um, the next thing that I think I want to do is you're going to, let's go into this mode, perspective view. Um, go ahead and like select these like back faces so you can select probably like these guys and then you can select these guys actually I'm gonna go one more almost like it's halfway and then just click W and bring them out like that so I think that looks pretty pretty good. Um, if you want to, you can go through and like add a multi-cut and stuff. Um, I am not going to quite yet, but we'll see how this turns out first. So my idea is that this is like the bottom and then on top of that rests the bowl. So the bowl we can just make out of a sphere. So that'll go around there. Let's just scrunch it down a bit. I'm gonna end up like cutting it in half, so. And then you can try and like scale it up and move it to like the best of your ability. All right. Go ahead and let's go into this front view. And then select the top faces and delete. All right. And then go to object mode, extrude that guy and thicken it up. I'll go like 0.15. Go into object mode and scale him in and then you can move him up. All right and then for this part there we go. Um, you're basically going to be making a sphere, a smaller sphere of course. And then what you want to do is actually like position it to be probably like down over here like that. You can make it kind of long, scale it in, rotate it. This is where the water would flow through and then you can push it. Whenever you kind of think you've got like a good, you know, position for it, you can select the bottom, select that sphere, and then do mesh booleans difference. Um, and it should cut through. Oh, I see. Go ahead and duplicate that guy. And then select this guy, select the first one, do mesh booleans difference and then select the bowl, select the duplicate and do mesh booleans difference so that it cuts through both of them. 
All right, so now we've kind of got that guy going. Um, if you want to, you can select these, uh, this top like ring of faces. Um, and you can like press them down a little bit. And then maybe like scale them a little bit. Actually, you know, that that's good. Okay. All right, so for the most part, that's kind of the toilet. <laughs> um, the next thing we gotta do is make the toilet seat. So I'm going to be using a torus. I'm gonna make the radius like 0.2 maybe. Let's go ahead and move it on up here. All right. And scale it up a bit just making like an easy little ring and then just do your best to kind of fit it on the seat like that you can press it on top all right got our little toilet seat and then um, next thing we can do is build the back so that is a cube so go ahead and grab that and then move it on over here Let's see. It's a little bit more of like a rectangle shape. So we make it a bit more like that. And then you can have it connect with it like that. Maybe make it a little bit bigger. You can go in and select all those edges and bevel them if you want. Oh. Let's go ahead and give it some divisions, maybe like four by four by four, something like that. All right. And then select Right, that's good. And then um, if you want to, you can make like the lid by making a sphere, pushing it on up here, clicking R, scaling it down like that. And then, you know, just scale it up to the best of your ability and press it on like that, just like we did for the seat. All right. So, um, the next thing we can add is the top to this guy. Um, if you want, you can select those um, top faces and then you can delete them. Select that object and extrude it. You can make the thickness like 0.1 or 0.15 even, um, and then you can select that object and just scale it down. Oh, I don't know what that is. You can delete those, whatever they are. Oh, it's another cube I made, cool. All right, and then you can just push it like that. And then you can go ahead and make another cube. Move it on over here. And then just try and, you know, scale it to be as proportionate as possible. Um, make it pretty small. Like that. Scale them up. Should overlap the lid a bit. And it just sits, you know, on top. So I'm gonna make that one a little shorter. Just like that. And then um, really the next thing that I think might be kind of cool is if you select these faces on the front um, and then just click R and kind of like scale them in like that, it'll bring a little bit 
of a cooler dimension to um, your object. I'll do the same with this thing. And then we can go ahead and make that handle. So um, I'll probably just make that out of maybe a sphere or a cylinder even. Let's, let's make both. So grab your sphere first, make it really small. Bring it on over here. And then you can try and position it to the best of your ability. This is kind of like just where the um, handle is going to connect to the toilet. So go like that. Grab your cylinder, bring it on up here. I'm gonna scale that guy down. And then um, you can bring it on up here. And then you can, you know, rotate it however you want. And then I'm gonna actually duplicate this sphere, move it on out here and scale it down. Kind of make it like the front or the top of that handle. You can scale that guy down a bit. There. And then um, if you want, you can select this bottom edge and scale it down. There we go. All right, so that's kind of our little handle. Um, but yeah, that's basically our toilet. So, um, you know, you can just select all the objects and do um, smoothing on it. Oh, this guy definitely needs to have more divisions in it. So you can just edit that by adding your divisions over here. You do four by four by, you know, four. And then if you press three, it should, should round out a bit better. <laughs> all right, so um, yeah, if you need to, you can go through and bevel some of the edges. I'm pretty happy with how that's turning out. So um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know. And I'll see you guys next time for when we're creating some more household objects. I'm not quite sure what we're creating next time. So I'll see you guys then. Bye guys.